Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, people know you from Mum and many other things. You're going to talk about a new project. We were talking just a moment ago about moments when you meet people yeah. and it turns you to jelly. <laughs> and you're a bit overawed by the whole thing. Uh, have you had that occasion happen where, I don't know, in well, auditions? It's, it's on... quite embarrassing. It's happening right now, Charlie. <laughs> I'm getting a bit jelly. No, no. You see, that's, we all know that's just not true. What's the real one? Is I there don't a real know. one? I remember one of my first ever jobs I did, gosh, TV jobs. Um, I, uh, Vic Reeves was playing my dad, and I grew up watching Vic Reeves. I mean, he was part of mine and my brother's, um, you know, our lives, our makeup. I, you know, I love, I love Reeves Mortimer. And so when I, he was cast as my dad, I think that that. Oh God! Oh God! I'm going at normal. I can't normal act with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you recover? Did you... I did recover. Yeah. Good. Did. Good. Very yeah. professional. <laughs> uh, you're here to talk about your new uh, project. Yes. Uh, just, do you want to give us a little sort of snapshot? Gosh, yeah, I'll try to. It's always quite hard to do this. So it, it's Somewhere Boy, which starts on Sunday on Channel Four, and it's about a young guy, Danny, who um, who has spent his whole life, um, his dad's kept him locked in a house for 18 years um, to protect him from the outside world. He's grown up thinking that monsters exist on the outside world. And then when he's 18, his whole life sort of turns on its head and he um, is exposed to the world. And he, he comes to live with me, Auntie Sue, and my family. And it's a sort of a coming of age show about him sort of experiencing the world as an 18 year old for the first so time. So he's seeing the world for the first time but as a young adult yeah. rather than yeah. evolving so within he it. he doesn't know what social media is, right. he doesn't know what a car is, you know, he doesn't know what anything is. It's He's been sort of trapped in this bubble for 18 years, yeah. Shall we have a look? Yes. Mm. That is incredible because he is looking at the world with the awe and wonder yeah. Yeah, of yeah. a child, so he's yeah. really captured that. Yeah. Did his dad keep him in the house to protect him from the outside yeah, world? Was so, that the idea? Yeah, so the premise is his um, mum was killed in a car crash when he was a baby and his dad is just completely overwhelmed by grief and just buys this house in the middle of nowhere and just wants to protect him, which as a parent I kind of understand. You know, sometimes I kind of think, you know, I, my, I live in London and I'm like, oh gosh, I just sometimes want to just go live in the middle of nowhere and, you know, not let my kids go out because the news and is so depressing a lot of the time. We're seeing, I was watching the show earlier and you kind of think, so I kind of understand why he did it. Um, I mean, it doesn't obviously, you know, you know, it's it's a, it's a fairly dark story, but it's... but there is that wider issue about how much you protect your children yeah. from the world yeah. while making sure they're not so naive as yeah. to be taken by surprise about yeah. what's out there. And social media, it's yeah. like what they're exposed to. So in the show, I have a 17-year-old son um, as well, and he's you know he's watching, he's on social media, he's exposed to you know all of the horrible things that they can have access to online. And it's, yeah, so it's it's about them sort of navigating, like two teenagers navigating through a very difficult world, I think, of social media and everything. So. Has it made you kind of rethink a bit on that? I don't know, are you are you a social media type person? Do you know what, I'm, I'm sort of, at the minute, burying my head in the sand. I look at Instagram and I like Instagram, but I don't go on Twitter. I find just, I've taken all the news off my phone at the moment. I just finding the world fairly overwhelming at the minute. So. To be clear, Lisa, you still watch BBC Breakfast every but day. BBC though. Breakfast, oh, yes, yeah. always, yes. That's a very different always. thing. But that's interesting, isn't it? Because I think a lot of people are feeling like yeah. that at the moment. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's I mean, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult time, you know, so. We just saw your character there, Auntie Sue. Auntie Sue. She's kind of cradling the young boy like like he's yeah, a child yeah. again. And I guess, does your character have to do that almost to bring him up like yeah, he's a baby again? Yeah, I think that she she sort of has a responsibility. It was her brother that did this to him. Um, um, I think they've had a very difficult upbringing as well. And yeah, so she definitely feels like it's her role to sort of be the help him and, yeah. and look after him because it's awful what's happened to him. So you're burying your head in the sand and you're not doing any social media or anything else, but you're yeah. concentrating on work, right? Yeah. So you're working a lot. I am. I've been quite busy. Yeah. Like, yes. It's it's like buses. It's just sudden. All the buses have come at once at the minute, which is uh, yeah. And a big uh, big bus has come along, a, which is yeah, quite a big sex bus. education, which yes. is a huge series. You're going to be in that. Yeah, yeah. I've just joined the cast of a series four of, uh, of sex education. Yeah. So, which is. 
amazing. I'm a huge fan of the show. Um, I'm playing uh, Gillian Anderson's sister. So, yeah, I mean, that was quite a surreal first day at work. Did you? Oh, so this is done already? Yeah, well, I'm filming it at the moment. Yeah. Okay, and now yeah. I always think Gillian Anderson will be quite formidable to act <laughs> yeah, alongside. Yeah, I think I had one of those jelly moments meeting her. I for the think first I probably time. had a jelly moment with Gillian Anderson. Yeah, she's um, she's amazing though. I mean, she's beautiful. I mean, it's the biggest compliment in the world, isn't it? Being cast as a sister. Quite right I mean, too, I'm though. Like, Quite right too. Does that mean I look like Gillian well. Anderson? <laughs> so that that's upcoming, is it? Yeah, that's... yeah. So I'm filming that at the moment um, in in Wales. So which is where we filmed Somewhere Boy. So it's really nice going back and um, yeah, spending time there. And I know you've come in to talk to us about Mum before, which is quite a long time ago now, I isn't know. it? You loved Mum, didn't oh, you? Do you know oh, I love it. I'm just we thinking, were... looking at you, about how different you are to your character. I've had, I've had two totally kids since person. then as well. <laughs> I'm sort of, I'm much, I'm much older now and, you know, tired. Do you still get no. people <laughs> sort of thinking you're like that character? Uh, yeah, it's funny. I think people always are quite surprised when I don't, like, talk like Kelly, you know, I don't have an Essex accent. Um, yeah, but, I mean, that job remains one of my favourite jobs ever, you know, it was such a... It's, it's, it's back on iPlayer at the minute, which is lovely. That's a good thing. Because it was gone for so long, so... It's, it's like putting like a blanket that. on watching Mom, isn't it? Yeah, I it is. It. It, yeah. is. it is like a comfort blanket. Yeah. Lovely to see you again. So nice to see you both. Uh, you. The series is called Summer Boy, starting on Sunday at 10pm on Channel 4. That is it from us this morning. Breakfast will, of course, be back tomorrow.